Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony with a look at these steamy temperatures, Brett. Yeah, and that UV index tomorrow up to 11. Mm. Now, if you're a fan of the movie Spinal Tap, you'll know that that movie, the mockumentary of a British rock group, they have an amplifier that goes to 11. And when the interviewer says, why does it just go to 10? He says, but ours goes to 11. Oh my gosh. And so tomorrow, our UV index goes to the extreme. It goes to 11. What a great <laughs> reference, Brett. <laughs> Sometimes I just go way, <laughs> way off the trail there. Yeah, way uh, over my head. One of my favorite movies, though. Hey, uh, Trinity County right now getting a shower, maybe even a thunderstorm trying to move into Trinity County. I bring this up because this is lightning Safety Awareness Week, and this is a great piece of data put together by the Vasela Group, and they monitor lightning strikes all across the country. This is essentially East Texas and Western Louisiana, so they broke it up into what we call county watch areas. So here's Smith County, there's Gregg County. See the purples and the blues? If you come over here to this dark purple area, you will note that for every square mile, we have up to 256 lightning strikes a year here in East Texas. We have a lot of lightning in these areas where it's dark purple and light purple. Just a tremendous amount of lightning, and I'm sure a lot of folks that live around here and have lived around here for a long time note that we have a lot of lightning with these thunderstorms. All right, the other part of the story this week, of course, is the heat, and in 10 minutes, inside the car, and we just keep wanting to talk about this. We had a child down in Harris County, I believe, yesterday that died inside a hot car, and so we just don't want this to happen, and this is why we show you when the air temperature's at 100, in 10 minutes inside that car, it can feel like 120. In 30 minutes, it can feel like it's about 135. And in an hour, it can feel like it's 145. Those are deadly temperatures to pets and kids. So that's why we just keep bringing that up and just pounding that home to make sure you check the back seat. 99 degrees, feels like 102 right now. Breezy southeast winds around 10 miles an hour. Three-day forecast. Tomorrow's just a smidge cooler, upper 90s, but mostly sunny. Isolated thunderstorm Thursday is possible in Longview. Nacogdoches probably stays dry. Look at these temperatures on Friday, 101 to 103. Those are near record highs. All right, so we have this little boundary that drops in here Thursday. This is why I have this small chance for a scattered shower Thursday afternoon. Boundary kind of stalls there and then retreats, and that's why it turns so hot Friday and Saturday. There'll be another boundary here Sunday that gives us another chance of rain. But we've got a scorching weekend setting up 103 Friday, near record high of 102 Saturday. Morning lows are in the upper 70s. And Sunday, we've got late day rumbles in the forecast, and that would probably come after sunset tonight midsummer night feel I mean we're talking about mid July almost to the latter part of July with an overnight low around 76 degrees the uh, hour by hour forecast for tomorrow we're going to be close to a heat advisory by four o'clock with a feels like temperature of 106 we'll have a mix of sun and clouds and just a 20 percent chance of rain and that high of 98 here's the Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast so sunny hot humid tomorrow 98 Keep checking back to see if any heat advisories are issued for tomorrow. A few thunderstorms possible Thursday. Then we're near record highs Friday and Saturday. Sunday evening thunderstorms. And then it's somewhat cooler next Monday and Tuesday.